Well, Holly Robinson Pete and Rodney Pete have spent many years in the public eye. Holly as an actress and talk show host, and Rodney as a longtime NFL quarterback. And now they're opening the doors to their very real modern family in the new own docuseries for Pete's sake. Take a look. Got one that says, what would be the best and worth it, worst things about having a twin? The best work. thing about having a twin, the connection with Rodney that I have. RJ, what's the best thing about having a twin? Her? Mom. Mom. You just yeah. pointed at sister? Yeah. Table Talk is, is just our way to get our kids to engage with us at the dinner table. They put down their phones, and they actually have to talk to us and each other. Imagine that. And it works. <laughs> and Holly and Rodney joined us live. Welcome, you guys. Hi. Thank so you. table talk, the kids, do you have to encourage them to get into it, or are they just happy to do it? <laughs> we have to beg them to get to the right. table. But once they get there, they actually they enjoy stop. talking to us. Right. Yeah. And then we're like, OK, guys, we've been here two hours. It's time to go. I love oh, that. Yeah. You all have the cutest kids. Oh. I mean, they are so adorable. And I have to say, happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy you. birthday. Thank Thank you. You. Got the big 5-0. Oh. Oh, yeah. I was going to yeah. ask if you were telling, but yeah. clearly. He well, because no, you told on me a year and a half ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, so I'm like, I married, what? An, I married an older woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not going to go there. Yeah. But let's talk about a, way, a great way to celebrate your birthday is to kick off this series over on OWN. Why did you all decide to open up your family to the world now? Wow, because she made me. <laughs> That's a good she reason. made me do it. I kind of mm -hmm. did. I, I like the idea of... Um, like you said earlier, Modern Family. I, I love the show Run's House. Remember that show? Yes. Yeah. And I kind of yes. thought it's Run's House kind of meets Blackish. Yeah. And, um, it felt like the timing was good. Yeah. Okay. We had been recruited, if you will, for a show like this for about 10 years. Um, and I remember we, we did a pilot, actually. And um, our youngest guy was still in diapers. Mm -hmm. And the pilot came Tough out great. Time too. But I yeah. thought, is he going to write a book later? <laughs> yeah. Entitled, um, Didn't Nobody Ask Me by right. Robin, <laughs> by Robin <laughs> Pete. He's so we said, Prisoner of Mind the Character. Maybe we'll wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, now it feels like the timing is right. And yeah. uh, so it was a little scary at first, but I was going to say, good. you yeah. guys are busy too. You have busy careers. You know, you have four kids. Your mom is involved in this. How is your mom liking yes. the spotlight, Dolores? Oh, how is she liking it? Yeah. She loves it, first of all. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's, she's the star of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. the breakout she's star. A, she's yeah. a character. Yeah. She's dating at 80, and uh, so Getting there's tattoos. that. She's been getting tatted up since 75. Oh, oh stop it. God. One uh, year. She started at 75? Yes, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm reliving the drama that's right an now. That's episode yeah. within itself. It is. Yeah. It's an arc, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the kids, you know, help her design. She, my mom's quirky and fun, but she embraces life, and yeah. she's good TV. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I like to think that when you do a show on OWN, that Oprah is involved she's in every, every aspect. Day. Please tell me that you, you get to meet her and work with her on a regular basis. That is true. Is it? She's very hands-on. Really? Yeah, very hands-on. From the moment we pitched it to her, um, she made it clear that she wanted it, and um, she's very hands-on. In the own network, like Oprah, a lot of integrity. You know, listen, we're, it, it's a show that is definitely intentional, and it's humor and heart and all that. Yeah. But we go there. We have some honest moments, and we're excited to share them. Rodney, is there yeah. hair pulling and things like that, like we see on a lot of reality no, shows? Tell them you, you snatch my weed. No. <laughs> <laughs> some drinks thrown in faces. Only after hours. <laughs> Right, that's um, off camera. <laughs> no, no, you're not going to see any of that. No table turning or anything approval. like that. We, you know. <laughs> and, and the best part about being on OWN is, is that we're allowed to keep our integrity intact. Yeah, and, and that's you're still what they're doing all about. things that are important to you. Absolutely. I know that you know, you're an author as well, and you have mm -hmm. a new book out, Same But Different. It's yeah. for kids and families living with autism. Right. So why did you want to share this story? What, what inspired you to write the book? When we got our diagnosis in 2000, we didn't see anybody really advocating yeah. publicly with a platform for what it's like to have a kid with autism and what happens the when they turn. thing is that there's so much mystery around mm -hmm. it and nobody it's, knows it's enough about it. It's a very mysterious disorder. Yeah. Um, and we felt like we should, after a, a lot of discussion, we should share our story to try to demystify yeah. it a little bit yeah. and show that these kids are amazing, they're brilliant, they're just, you know, quirky and different and uh, we wanted to just spread compassion. And your kids actually got involved in you writing the book, right? Oh, they co-authored it. So yeah. it's me and the twins, and they're 18 now. Our son with autism has eight, is 18, and his twin sister is getting ready to go to college. So there's that sort of, because they've been together since yeah, the womb, yeah. they like to mm -hmm. remind us. 
um, and um, we want to be able for them to you know share their story of the transition in the teen years which not ma very many people talk about yeah yeah, yeah. well we appreciate all the I'm work that both of you all it. do <laughs> with the Holly Rod Foundation and so much more which deals with Parkinson's as well as right autism. which my dad had yeah yeah, yeah. and how, they brought us these beautiful I bracelets know, thank these you. are still and the best selling yeah. as part of that I'm, I'm sure you can find out at the yeah, website Stella and Dot Stella and Dot is making bracelets for our autism charity and it's just a okay. great company so to we gotta go y'all yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Well, be for sure Pete's sake, I for know. Pete's sake, be sure to catch a premiere of For Pete's Sake Saturday at 9 p.m. on OWN, and you can see Holly at a book signing tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the Tribeca Barnes and Noble, and she's also on Chicago Fire right now. Yeah, <laughs> yes. a lot of good stuff shows. going yeah. on. I know. Busy, busy. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys for being yeah. So here. much fun. Yeah. Now let me go get these puppies. I know. Yes. Happy birthday, Rodney. Thank you. <laughs>